This is the Library of Video Games here to talk about some more wrestling news. If you might recall, Jeff Jarrett recently took to AEW Dynamite during an entrance with Satnam Singh to call Braun Strowman a make-believe monster in red skinny jeans. He went to explain why he said what he said on his podcast. This is what Jeff Jarrett said on his show. He said, I love the industry because if you're not in the Twitter or Instagram or if you're not in the social media, that's the last outlaw kind of thing. Just That's the last outlaw just kind of taking a dig at a blanket statement of a big man in the wrestling and skinny jeans. Just an outfit and a circus and all that. And here's the legitimate, which Satnam is, megastar from India. Have you seen the Netflix? One in a billion? It's really an amazing story. Satnam came to America at 13 or 14 years old. The documentary goes to the night that he got drafted in the NBA. So in my mind, how am I going to put this guy over? But also, can you call it old school heat and get a reaction and be an antagonist and put this guy over? I have no idea about Braun and his showing up late. I didn't know any of that reference. But I was aware of him just being, I don't know, if it's naive or whatever you want to call it. When he takes a shot at flippy floppy stuff and blah 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 blah, it's almost tone deaf because in 2022, when you look at the landscape of all professional wrestling, of all sports entertainment, you want to resonate with your audience. And hey, hats off. I think Corey Graves made a great statement that Braun is happy that him and almost had a great match. But at the same time, he didn't just put one, he put both of his feet in his mouth and is knocking Flippy Floppy, which takes, of, which takes offense to this industry. To t I take a, sorry, correction. I take offense to, because this industry, whether it's the X Division, whether it's Lucha Libre, whatever it may be, if we don't have diversity of genres in wrestling and styles of wrestling, I mean, you're talking about AAA, it's a different appetite, but for him to kind of take a shot at it, I just thought, here's a perfect opportunity to draw an analogy, you know. Braun, whether he's a former softball player or a strongman, whatever it is, he's got some accolades, but he's certainly not an NBA player, and look, I'm the antagonist, the last outlaw. I'm putting my guy over. Well, I certainly like the logic behind what he said. Getting his guy, because he's not just taking a shot at Braun all willy-nilly. He's actually trying to get his guy, Satnam Singh, over. And you got to say, that's the, way, that's the way to go about it. But Braun really did open the door for this kind of stuff, to use people to use his name to get people over. Because he really did decide to take a dig at all of Flippy Floppy Wrestling. Whether you like the Flippy Floppy style or not, as a person in the business, with people in his company, WWE, who do that kind of stuff... Maybe he should have been a little more respectful. Maybe he shouldn't have said what he had to say. So the heat that he's getting, I'd say he's earned. Is he still is he still is he still great in WWE? I think so. He always was for his size. Anyway, anyway, please like and subscribe and check us out next time.